by any stretch of the imagination. Definitely going to be a, and I was I was thinking if I need a nether portal, that means I need diamonds to build a pickaxe, uh, and I want more diamonds to build. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's the equivalent exchange doohickey, the one you use for making objects. It takes diamonds, based on the arcane chest thing. So you need glowstone and diamonds for all that malarkey. So that's more diamonds. Um, so it, we're definitely going to need at some point to go cave diving and get more diamonds than you can shake a stick at. Um, seeing as how so far in all our little caving adventures we found one diamond and that was lost to the lava. I'm not holding out a great deal of hope that we are going to be able to get into the nether any time soon. Hopefully down in the abandoned mine shaft because it was quite low. I don't think it was low enough but it was quite a low one. Hopefully down there we'll 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 be able to have a route round. Um, if not, somewhere maybe around the Saints, get access to another underground area, and and just hope that we can find diamonds. I mean, there's a few underground areas around here, but they're not going to be running deep. I don't think. We have got. Um, the ravine, which had a, a separate spur that we haven't yet explored, over over there somewhere. They haven't built much in stone yet, have they? I think they've got a quarry. I think, I think they were building a quarry. Can't remember off the top of my head, but they haven't uh, built much out of stone. Should go and have a look. I might. I'm, I feel inclined. When we do, um, when Hastings decide that they're going to rebuild their main guild hall or whatever it is in uh, cobblestone, which they get to eventually, um, I'm I'm feeling inclined that I might put that on a time lapse and just just watch that time lapse construction of the. Uh, got to decide where this is going to of the new guild hall because I think that would be pretty cool because they do do a total complete rebuild of the thing hopefully if we make this two blocks thick it might be a little more creeper proof so that's the edge of it, that's fine Pressing the right button would make the world of difference. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing now. I seem to have lost the rhythm somewhere along the lines. And we're coming into night again. No, that's not right. We'll go another row, I think. I think we can afford to go another row. Which means just hopping down here and doing this. Excellent. More soil pops in. And is that going to be deep enough? I think that's plenty. So we can just plow through there. Like so. And then we can... There's a rat coming. Or is it a mouse? I can never tell with these things whether it's a mouse or a rat. Okay, it's blasted through there. Something was getting closer to me then. I was getting twitchy. Yeah, we got an axe. So this is fence number one. 
Now watch how many times I place a fence in the wrong place. Get off me. Cheeky, cheeky imp. As I was saying, watch how many times I place... What now? Ghost. Get off. And you can get off too. You're supposed to be one hit with the Norman Broadsword. What's going on there? Let's just light this place up a little. That's better. Look at that stick sticking up there. Ridiculous. Get out of it. Clearing away. I don't know where the middle of this is going to be, so we'll just build fence anyway. So we had two stacks of 64 fence, didn't we? I don't think that's going to be enough to get all the way around this. No, it's not. Oh, look, it's a melon head. It's one of the melon head people. The Melonhead clan from the north. He spawned on my uh, platform here inside my fencing. But we'll soon put pay to that. Because they won't be spawning when it's... That's that hole I just filled in, I think, making that noise. No, they won't be spawning when it's uh, well lit. Listening intently for creepers coming behind me. Should be easy enough to spot. Yeah, I didn't think we'd have enough to do this. Just light it up. And then we can... Go and find something else to do. There's a scorpion out there. And he's coming in here. And he's dying. So that's nice. His plan was executed poorly. Oi. He was... He, 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 oh, he did better. He did me some damage. Oh, God. Well, we seem to be under siege a bit here now. That's fine. That's fine, we can live with under siege. We got any coal on us? We got one block of coal on us. From that rat we just killed. That'll give us four more torches. And as long as he stays over there, I'm not too worried. So I don't know where the centre of this little enterprise is going to be. But we'll just knock a hole in it anyway. We'll say that's where the centre's going to be. I think that is the best plan. Then we need to kind of throw up some partition fencing. Well, we haven't been here that long because this stuff ain't fully grown yet. Some of it is, but not all of it by any stretch. And we kind of need all that to be fully grown. For the making of the books. For the enchanting of the items. For the making of the stuff that makes it great. 27 seeds. So we should be able to plant up a goodly garden here now. That'll be brilliant for when we've got all our animals. Because we need a way to attract them. Um, because my natural animal magnetism probably isn't going to work in this instance. So we need more sticks, and we need a fence gate. No, we don't need a fence gate, do we? Do we need a fence gate? We need doors. I'm just going to shut that, because I don't want anything sneaking up behind me. I'm paranoid, isn't it? Paranoia. It's no way to live a life. Worried about everything. And we'll do some more. Yeah, we'll do some more. I think I'm actually going to need 